Hello, I'm Jackie from London. Hello, I'm Jackie from London. And, and we, we love Culture Share. It's about our time, yes? Time for the thing to fly. You ready? Hey! It's time to celebrate the music and the sweet sights of the Caribbean as we delve into the sweet rhythms. This is Culture Share and I am Harold Paisade. Well, we're still trying to get the sanity back from Trinidad and Tobago Carnival 1996. The gentle still not too sober. True? Uh, no, I'm only kidding. Gentle don't drink. <laughs> And it was great being in TNT for Carnival 1996. And we'll be featuring some of the music of Trinidad and Tobago's Carnival. And today I have a very special person who will be co-hosting with me. He's a top liner, a front liner in the soca business. A man who has paid his dues. And today is one of the greatest crusaders of the soca business worldwide. I am talking about the 1995 soca monarch. And is still creating great moves in the soca business. The one and only Ronnie McIntosh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Say it. Say it. Say it. Oh yeah. Say oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody from Barbados? Anybody from Lavanti? Anybody from Sawa? Anybody from Barataria? Sawa. Lavanti. Anybody from Barbados? Yeah. Anybody from Grenada? Yeah. Anybody from Jamaica? Yeah. Anybody from St. Lucia? Yeah. St. Lucia? Yeah. Jamaica? Yeah. Antigua? The festival, I come back home for peace and rice. Hey, when I'm reaching the party, and I start to dingle, take a look 
cut my bones see How my body swing and sway It's party all day and party all night It's from the clock sun up sun down Hey, seal and brass people play in mass It's black and hey, where we going? Where we going? On the road Where we going? On the road With the pie man, chop up with the corn man, chop up with the nuts man. Jump, jump. Hey boy, jump, jump. hey look at it, jump, jump. Go on the swing, jump it, get up, get up, get up, get up what they want. Oh lado, 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 oh god, oh god. Oh yes, and uh, this is the man himself, Ronnie McIntosh. Ronnie, it's a pleasure to have you here, man. It's nice, it's nice to be on culture. Culture share. It's a long time I'm trying to get on culture share. As a matter of fact, it's a long time I'm trying to get to sit down next to you. I'm watching you all the time when I say to me, come on, sit down next to Harold. <laughs> what happened, Harold? Are they doing some good work, man? Thank you much. Nice, doing some good work. Be holding tight. Yes, hold it up. Now we're gonna get into 1996. Definitely. A little further on down in the program. Right. But we no like problem. to talk about Ronnie McIntosh and go back a little. As a mm -hmm. matter of fact, mm -hmm. looking at you over the years, I have termed you the nimble footed nimble -footed. soaker man. Because you move so easy on your toes, on your as, toes. You, as you from side to side. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's all, yeah. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people don't know that you represented Trinidad and Tobago in field hockey. Definitely, definitely. And, uh, and we must um, emphasize on field hockey because of the fact that, you know, in the international foreign countries, they have the ice hockey. And so it's not ice, it's field on the grass. And of course, I must emphasize also that we now beginning to get into the... Um, Artificial surfaces in Trinidad, which is the AstroTurf, we call it, which is cool. But I represented Trinidad and Tobago in field hockey between the years of 82 and 86. And that kind of, you know, kind of helped me to be, you know, as physical as I was because I was involved in music, in music and still trying to do the hockey thing. And it wasn't working out because the coach now, who was a Canadian then, didn't understand the soccer thing. And I had like the fet from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. And then I had training with the hockey from 6 a.m. To 9 a.m. And, and, they, and they say if 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 a, a trainee have to choose between a fet and something body, else, but the man tell me the, the other thing. Lose. The man tell me I make a choice. He say I'm, I'm Mr. McIntosh. <laughs> I, I think you have to make a choice between the hockey <laughs> and the music. But he's shocked when I choose music. <laughs> yes, he swear kill him dead. I go and choose hockey. But no, I didn't choose that. But you think the, the, the training that you had then in yeah. terms of the body fitness has helped you too? Because when you reach late now, like when I reach late, 20 minutes late, he will tell me do 20 laps. Wrong the field, 20 laps wrong the field because you reach 20 minutes late. And I would do it because of I trying to show him that I could do both then. I trying to prove a point because you know training, you know, we have it from down in the God's mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. trying to show him. How much laps say one coach? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, well, um, what, what time is it? 20 past 6? Well, give me 20 now. And if you I go in and do it, but that now kind of help now in the thing because the soccer thing is a fitness thing. Of course, we realize it's only instructions, it's jump, it's side to side. And you can't stand up and tell them jump. You, when you tell them jump, you ought to be able to jump too. Okay, when we come back, we're going to talk a little more about the jump and wave and the side to side and, and, the, the, and yeah. the aerobics. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here But for. in the meantime, we're going to mm -hmm. go to Mr. Ayong. Edwin Ayong, you as in the crazy man. <laughs> crazy for 96. 96. Madness, boy. So come on up. The man mad for 96, boy. Crazy. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> Oh, 
shake it, shake a lily. Man quick it, and sing a ring. Everybody feel it. This is my destiny. This is my destiny. This is my destiny. When you're talking about a, a Kaiso or a Soka that suit a man, the man mad, trust me, the man mad. I think nobody else could do that. The man like crazy. The man say, um, what? Take off your pants if you have it. <laughs> if you have it, we? Yeah. <laughs> if you have it on. <laughs> because he had it off. The one and only. And talking about off, I see partner all wrong that too. Yeah, yeah. In a dress. I don't know who make him out, but I make him out. And well, he was he was with that same dress and that bag on Culture Share a few years ago. Right. Um, the same uh, dress. Impersonating a woman. The same dress. In a life. Yeah, he, he looked like the same dress to me. I don't know, like, he well preserved that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. But um, mm-hmm. your thoughts on crazy? Yeah, man. Well, crazy, um, he had a great performance at the Soka Monarch. And of course, I know crazy is crazy. And he always um, be, has always been consistent over the years because I um, always have a great album. He always bring like three or four songs on the album that stands out and most you know most prominently after the carnival season. So I expecting crazy to have a, a great 1996 because you know the season lives on, it doesn't end there. You see? He born in Trinidad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I know you love our, you know, the season continues. Oh definitely. All the carnivals all, all over the world. world. As in all Nothing over the world. Hill, as in Caribana, as in Labor Day, you know, it doesn't end there. The jump and wave. Mm-hmm. Now Good topic. Wh- <laughs> the exercise, the aerobics. Right. When you reach fifty five, mm-hmm. how are you gonna sing? Me. Uh-huh. If, all right. Well to be honest, um I've witnessed um, fellow artists because I've been involved in the, in the business from the age of seven because of my deceased dad, Adi Koto. You know, that was my dad. And a lot of the, the Calypsonians then would, would come home to our house and, you know, he would give them pointers and stuff like that. But I've also witnessed a lot of, the, a lot of them on the, you know, on the scene still and still doing like, you know, the same thing. I am saying that I try to approach the thing from a business point of view and I sort of have certain things in place. Whereas that I would not be on a stage trying to be jumping and waving at 55, you see? I cannot put the things in place with the insurances and the, like, <laughs> and, and, the, and, the and the pension plans, you know, and, and trying to invest. In, insure your ways. Yes, you know, be, you know but I'm, I'm saying that it's nice, you know, for the, for the, you know, the older ones, Kitchen and Sparrow, which is nice to be still functioning. But um, I think that if we approach it from a business, you know, from a business point of view, that at that point in time we should just be doing like a nice European tour. You know, we have a, a Japan and we have a Singapore. And I hear we you. pass through Belgium and we pass London and we come home. I have observed the beginning of the end of the usage mm-hmm. of the usage of the words jump and wave. Right. In 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 singing the, the actual words itself in soca this year. I mean, it, it, the jump and waving is still there. Definitely, you see. But the usage of the jump and wave in the calypso, I think I've 
begun to see the beginning of the end of that right truth? You're, you're quite right but I'm, i still want to emphasize here that the element the element as in the elements plural jump and wave and the you know the screaming in the party and put your hand in the air these are certain elements that would not really you know you can't get rid of them in the party well it, it as a matter of but fact, it's how you're constructed it was always there definitely i mean people been jumping away in the carnival it, from since we like what correct and there's so much there's so many different things that you could really do in the party you have about like 10 things you could do in the party when you come to the party definitely you must work with the flag because i, I know I've, i'm fully aware that people leave home to go to the carnival fed and they reach halfway down the road and realize Damn, where's my rag? <laughs> and turn back and go home for it, you know. Because you can't come in the with your rag. So you must wave, you have to jump. And these things will always be there in the party. But it's, it's how you construct the thing, you know. So you, you don't have to say jump and wave, but you could say, uh, put it up higher and uh, take oh, out your oh, flag. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you, you didn't have to go there. You, you didn't have to go there. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> What super blue is your friend? De definitely, we're nice. All right. We're safe. We're all right. <laughs> and, and I want to emphasize on that too because um, I observed a certain scenario that took place in 95 with the, with the Soka Mona thing and Ronnie win. And then they say, well, the boy, I vex. And they started pelt one or two little paper cups and stuff like that. And what happened to that is that particular scenario ended up in Billboard magazine in a negative way. You know, then now we come in '96 and we had a little scenario again with a few more paper cups where they, you know, they pelt again. And I am saying that we should not take it too personal. If you're backing an artist, you're backing an artist, fine. If your artist lose, well, he lose. But you don't get personal because sometimes those that same two artists that you, you know, battling for, they cool. So you know, you don't jump in that space and, and get personal because then when you get personal, the reflection from that. Kind of, you know, kind of, it, it, you know, it, it shows bad on the on the whole, you know, on the whole form. On the whole Great, form. and that brings me back to the security of the artist performing Whoa. on stage. We're gonna get back to that. Right. Very important where topic. We now? Where are we going now? We're gonna take a, going home. a, a little break. We're going home now. <laughs> no, you crazy? Not yet. Can't go home now. Right, we're gonna take a little break because this is Culture Share, and I am Harold Paisley, and I am Ronnie McIntosh, and we'll be back after these few messages. So don't turn off your TV and leave the remote exactly where you have it. <laughs> Let me take a little peek at Ronnie. Yes, man. But Harold, you know what, you know, that security thing you're talking about is really important, that's the key, and really important in, you know, in them kind of shows and that kind of stuff, you know, for real. You know, the morning after mm -hmm. is very important when you can reflect on what happened the night before. After looking at that invasion, I will say on stage... The invasion, invasion, or...? No, no, the... <laughs> the super blue invasion. <laughs> Some people say the Baptist invasion. All right, okay. Well, you have to go there either. The super blue invasion mm -hmm. that happened that night. Yeah, um, the, I mean, fans, you love a Kaisonian, you love a Soka man, that's all well and good. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, boy, for real. But as far as I am concerned, that kind of invasion that happened on stage. Yeah, I understand. That, the stage, kind of, some part of the stage color. That has to be an absolute no no. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> the authorities have to enforce that when promoters are having show, the security of the artist is very important. God forbid somebody that didn't like Super Blue that night and got in that crowd. Yeah, Super any, blue. Anything, anything, anything like could happen. Yeah, yeah. God forbid. But then again, from, we, we think about the Trinidadian mentality and that kind of stuff. So we say, well, nothing like that mightn't happen. But still, Trinidad, you, know, you we, say? Yeah. Caribbean mentality. Correct. I'll yeah, say, we, when something happens, then we jump up and we cry wolf. Prevention is better than cure. And I say, we have to nip it in the bud right now. All that. We cannot have this kind of invasion on stage with the artists. Yeah, man. And, and, and you see, when they, when they figure that they're supporting the artists to the max, then they're so excited. And I think there was a rule, not I think, I know there's a rule, that they only allowed eight people on stage. So as much as they figure that they're supporting the artists, and boy, would I really love Superboy. But you're also contributing to him being disqualified. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I remember a few years ago, there was a show in Grenada. Crazy was on that show. Um, um, Gregory Isaac was on that show mm -hmm. and um, 
there was an invasion on stage because of rain. Right. Legitimate invasion because right. of rain. For shelter. On stage. Yes. For shelter. And you know what happened? That stage collapsed. Definitely. The yeah. stage collapsed. God forbid, well, um, as a result, a young boy died subsequently in mm-hmm. hospital as a result of <laughs> injury sustained. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that was an example to tell you that when you have an invasion on stage like that magnitude, anything can happen yeah, and man, you're putting people's lives in danger. That's right, correct. You're right. And we have to eradicate this in the arsenal. Harold, you're right. All right. You're fully right. You're real correct then. You're 150% correct, trust me. Boy, you could be a politician. I, know, I, hope, I hope they're here and you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get into politics now that's our next story. Ronnie. Let's talk about Ronnie McIntosh, 1996. Mm-hmm. Ronnie, you were flying high. Definitely, um, had a fantastic season. Had a fantastic season. I had two selections this year. Um, I kind of branched off from the massive Chandelier label. Label meaning I didn't do a recording with Chandelier. I did my own product in terms of executive production and that kind of thing and finance the whole project. Um, Chandler also did their project, project and the board records was doing quite well, did quite well for the carnival season. I sort of stayed on the several records label which is a label that Chandler has been using for quite some time mm-hmm. and I stayed with them and Chandler did a massive Chandler limited production kind of thing and Flying Time which is one of the songs I did in the Soka Mona that was composed by Preacher and it was a great song and it took off kind of slow because of the fact that the public attempted to compare it to On The Road because On The Road, which is the 1995 Soka contribution, ended off at a peak, it really peak and it went all year, all over the world, it was a nice and thing. And when I released Flying Time, they tried to compare it and say, hey, I ain't find this one as good as On The Road, no? But they must, they also understood like a few weeks after it was released that we can't compare it where On The Road ended. You know, because on on the road it didn't start you know, at that level. It start here and it grow. So they, then they realized, let's give it a chance to start here and grow. And by the last two weeks, everybody was flying, man. Everybody had wings. And to tell you the truth, and you know, looking at you performing that song with the same um, nimble footedness, yes, so to speak, the same, um, yes. you get it. You know, you, you you get the feeling after a while that you're about to to go into orbit. Yeah man, and my, 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 my whole vibe behind the performance, one first and foremost is for the people, the paying patrons. Of course it's a competition and you realize boy, they, you might win a car and then you have a hundred thousand dollars in cash or units that you, could t- <laughs> that you could take home. You know, so that is in the, that is in the subconscious, yes. But after 60 seconds into the performance and you realize there's 15,000 people waiting to be entertained, you realize that you know, forget the competition really, let me just mash up the place and as we quote unquote mash up the place and after 60 seconds in the, in the, in the jam, I realized look, the stadium full, let me just get on by then and, that is exactly- and wherever the result and because I don't really study the judges too much because you know they think the swing left and the swing right is go down south, it is go up north. So I, <laughs> I, I don't really study too much about it then but of course when you yes, realize there are a nice big prize. I mean, nobody, you know, don't tell me that you really want to win the prize. You can't tell me that you really don't want to win the prize as a human being. You feel the butterflies in your stomach just before you go and perform. But after a while, them butterflies fly away and you just That's perform. what happens when it comes from here. Yeah, man, I like to do that. I like, and the, the more, the bigger the crowd, the more vibes I get, man. Yeah. Well, let's go on stage at Soka Monarch 1996. National I'll Stadium. Man, introduce yourself. Introduce man. myself. Listen, we're going to this National Stadium in Port of Spain, Trinidad, West Indies, and Tobago. Don't forget Tobago. <laughs> you understand? Soka Monarch, the, the former Soka Monarch on 95, <laughs> doing a nice performance at the National Stadium, you know. And I guess I came fourth for all those who know. I came one, two, three, four. But we had a nice time. Check this one and see if you like it, man, on Culture Share.
Festival. Big some back and all. Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up, everybody. Sound the carnival. Enjoy the festival. What you say? Pass up, pass up, pass up. Hey, we found it. Put your hands in the air. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Clap to the air. Clap to the air. Show me a piece of cloth. Show me a piece of cloth. Jumping up, jumping, be jumping up, jumping, be jumping up. Who's your mother? Who's your father? Who's your brother? Who's your sister? Jumping, be jumping up, jumping, be jumping up, jumping, be jumping up. Show the bull. We say, jump up, jump up, jump up, everybody. Together in unity, let we enjoy the party. Pass up, pass up, pass up in the party. Put your hands in the air, hands in the air, hands in the air, flaps in the air, flaps in the air. Show me a piece of cloth. Show me a piece of cloth. Hands in the air, hands in the air, flaps in the air, flaps in the air. Put them up, put them up. Just 
Yes, that was me, Ronnie, doing a nice little thing in the Soka Monarch 96 at the National Stadium. But hear what? I don't want you to go nowhere because we have much more coming up on Culture Share. <laughs> Ronnie. Yes, sir. We, uh, time that we talk about your daddy. Oh, daddy. The deceased Art Dakota. Art Dakota. Mm -hmm. This is a stalwart. Uh, definitely was a stalwart. Was a stalwart. <laughs> well, still, still, you know, in, in the mix. On. Yeah, man, definitely. A stalwart in the Kaiso, in the Kaiso business. Mm -hmm. Ace Arranger, who has worked with the greats. Right, into Panto, into Casablanca in them days, and exactly. Shoemaker. Shoemaker, I didn't know what, that. What all kind of a kind of a shoemaker do? Yeah, he went Guyana to, to do shoemaking and that kind of thing. Yeah, before I was born though. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is stories that was you know that I formed out. Oh, oh, yeah, I that, see. Died long before my time. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was it like growing up with a man like Artie Koto? I mean, this is a man who has created such an impact on the great yeah, Calypso yeah. like the mighty Sparrow, Definitely Lord Melody. All, all As a matter of fact, when Lord Melody died and Sparrow sang in tribute to the Lord Melody, right. there was a part in the Kaisi where he said, Ah, the Koto who yeah, call. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. And Melo couldn't refuse at all. Right. So you see, right. when I'd call Melo, he had no choice. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, had to go. Yeah, he had to go because, you know, somebody had to call you and, you know, when it's the time. So, the so time. how was it growing up? It was it was a great experience for me, and I think a lot of um, what I bring out on stage and, and certain of the, the, the let's call it natural qualities that people seem to mention that Ronnie you know Ronnie's a real natural, you have a nice vibe. I think that came from in the early days when the older ones in the mix now used to come home by me, and and he would be very abusive to them in you know something they're going wrong, and he was like, do sing it so. Try it so, and you know, if you're ad libbing, ad lib so, and do ad lib so, and he would, and I would be writing in mix, you know, I used to get my little 25 cents from Lord Fluke, the deceased Lord Fluke, and then he used to come and give me a little 25 cents, somebody bring a sweetie. You know, I used to be writing in mix, then you understand, and gently really, writing with a little boy in Grenada with yeah. a sweetie. No, <laughs> you know, that, when they come in to get a tuna, they must bring a little thing for Atta Son, of course, because if you want your tuna range good, you gotta take. Treat that as right. Yep, so it's, yep. it's a common treatment, nice thing. And really, actually, a lot of it by Maestro, the deceased Maestro. Again. Cecil Hume. Yeah, man, when Maestro came to Port of Spain, one, you know, in the morning, he came downtown and well, he find where he was living and come and say, Atta, you know. Uh, and, and he really, like, he really didn't really care too much about Maestro. It's like, you know, that's how he was then. You know, don't come to him in you know, an upfall kind of way then. Come straight up and then Maestro knew what he was about. And then all of a sudden, he and Maestro get tight. He and Crow Crow, tight, shadow, tight, he boy, you know, I was the boy, you know what I mean? So I used to get all the vibes. Toe Jam, you understand? Coco Rio Crow, you understand? that you know, was arrangement by the professor. Scranta was the boy too, you, got you know what I mean? So I pick up all them vibes and um, kind of bring it now into my, into my soca back and all thing and kind of have a way where certain ad-lib is, an, is not a new thing but ad-libs in the song and in the fet. It's kind of new. I think I saw those in, instrumental in bringing that to the dance hall too. Whereas 
when you're counting after four, we're gonna do this, after four, we're gonna do this, and you know, even ad limit and talking to the people in your on your recording too. I think I kinda brought that to the forefront. I mean it might have been around before, but certain things has come out to the front when certain people do it. You see, and you know, I had a great time and of course he left at a, at a tender end as a young at a 10, 11, 12, he kinda branch off and he left home and he went and do a thing. But I was still with him now in the Calypso tents because I've been I played with him in the Calypso tents from the age of seven. I played congas in all them tents, as in Kingdom of the Wizards, which is which is Monroe, mm -hmm. which is the Soka Monarch, Mr. Soka Monarch yes. Monroe. I work with him in the Kingdom of the Wizards tent. I work with um, the Masters then, that's when Shadow had his tent. I work with the Kitchener's Review. I never work with Sparrow tent because Daddy say that too much smut <laughs> by Sparrow. <laughs> so I don't want your playing. In them days was um shorty he lick she. I you know. See? But 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 <laughs> art, but but art the court, You don't want to swing the talk to that. I know. But no, hold on, but wait, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> but, he, but he arranged the 1979 album when Sparrow had um, the Pussycat Party. Yeah, all and the alien woman. He was big enough to arrange them thing. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I couldn't go by original Young Brigade or Sparrow's Young Brigade and play. I played any congas and back in them kind of song Baron singing Elixi and. I could you mad about you make a joke. I, can, I want to give you a little piece of story here too. Mm -hmm. He was he used to handle the um the Dimash Gas show. As in he used to work with Anthony Prospect, which is the, the conductor, the police band. The Prospect then. had a right. man. You are not well you know that you know yeah. all them old guys so and now he would have all the music in a little bag, a briefcase and thing. And we go into the mask at night boy, jump in a taxi, a St. James taxi, head into the savannah. We hire the car because it's my mom, my sister, Laurie later, uh -huh. my old man mm -hmm. and myself. So we fold up the car, five away. He said, Ronald, hold, the, hold that bag with all the music for the show. Eh? I said, I in the back seat, I put the music. You know, in the back we have the two speakers. Feeling important, eh? Yeah, man, oh, yeah, big. Yeah. So I put the music, the briefcase now in the back by we have the two speakers. And we reach the savannah. And I jump out of the car and forget the music in the car where the two speakers is and the car gone. And how, come, how come you sitting down here today? Well, here now, but let me give it. I <laughs> head in the Savannah, so he said, um, he looked back, he said, Run along, how many briefcases there? Well, boss, I have nothing in my hand there. Nothing in my hand. We, we later realize what happened and we later take off and he long and he told it. <laughs> we later take off and I don't know how we later find this taxi half an hour after I see we later come and run into this event and everybody did it. I ain't get licks, I ain't get nothing. It's just everybody's face was just dumb because that music is for the Mars Grass show 19 something. I can't remember the year, but that music in that bag was for the entire show. And if we later didn't find that bag, I don't know what was going to happen then. Not to me, but the show. I hear you. I never get. I don't get. I don't get licks and things. Never beat my party. On the road. Ninety five. Right, ninety five. You know this thing on the road is very synonymous with carnival. Yeah, so okay. much so that when the Calypso monarch in Grenada, Ajamo. Right, Ajamo on the road again. Exactly. And he was in the so and the so come on our home too. Yes. And he sang that after being out of competition for two years. He that came back good, on the road that again. Good. That was good. That but was change good. up some of the lyrics to suit the Trinidad audience. Yeah. You have, you have a familiar line in this song though. On the road. <laughs> when you go green up, when you go green, what I watch it. We have to keep the music. Nah, keep it, man. Keep he's, a nice, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Keep keep guy. <laughs> you see why? <laughs> Alright, let me <laughs> let me go in now on the road. It's on the road. So like, come on up. Barbarossa and poison and Wayne Barkley and all them people. No, we go to the Jamo. Ajamo. So come on up, right, nine right. okay, right. On the road again. On this the road, Ajamo, Grenada, big respect, all Caribbean islands, big respect. Yes, sir. Quality a share for you. Shake off the memory with sweet soca. I go make them run magic. I go make them dig for it. Young and old they got to dance with soca fire. 
tell them, let them know. My middle name is Gadim Soho. With good lyrics, melody, and tempo. We will see this white like never before. I don't want to get rough, but enough is enough. Mama G said no bluff. Take a taste of Grenada's. Tell them, let them know. I'm going to shake them like a tornado. To share and we'll be having the entire production of that from Ajamo next time on the program. Look out for the goodly man. Ronnie! I will have to be committed. If I don't find out about it, man is full of so much life. The, the story behind the cloak and the hat. The, the, the trench coat and the hat. Boy, it's a, not a long story, but um, in the earlier days when I went in Chandelier in 1984, I started as a percussionist. Not, not, never thinking about singing anything because in those days was Carl and Carol Jacobs. So I didn't have a clue. I just joined the band as a percussionist to play my little congas and cowbells after moving from the tent scene. And um, Carl and Carol left like about a year and a half after I was now getting into the groove because Chandler, nice love and thing and I really into it now. Carly and Carol decide them going so, Ansel Ford was the basis, then he going so, Robin E. Mamsha going so, and the whole thing like it want to collapse. So we get new vocalists and thing, we had Derek Seas, we had Sherlock Romani, we had Lima Dunbar, we had Jenny Pikira, all kind of people we try boy, and it wasn't working out. I decided now that I like my little dance all thing, so I started singing my little dub because you know, try to you know, fix up the music and play all kinds of music for all kinds of people, you see? So the little dub thing started off nice and nice and then one night one of the vocalists never showed up and I said, well, look, the soca songs that he just sing. You could sing I, it too. I could, I could sing it, I said, I'm brave. I could not sing it and uh, boy, the, the manager then, which was Cliff Harris, he said, um, boy, that song ain't good, boy. Better you stay in front as a frontline man. And then the next day he say, well, you know, as a vocalist, you know, there are certain things that you mustn't do. And one long speech, I started to get frightened. <laughs> because, you know, I, I like, you know, I like the lime thing. And I sip a little beer and thing. The man tell me, you can't drink no beer. And thing. One set of rules, but you couldn't bear with that. I couldn't bear with that, you know. So I said, look, better I change my mind from this frontline thing because I want to be me, you know. And I kind of ease off the, you know, the little crazy stuff, the bacchanal thing for about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst two weeks of my life. And, uh, and it 
swing back, you know, and I started getting to it. And it was really nice. The hat now, one of the road crew members then, he used to wear a black hat similar to this one, not this one. I have about 12 of them now. And he said, Look, I ain't wear this hat, you know, because we're looking for image now. Because them times now, Tambu and Rudder kick in by mm -hmm. here, girl, big. So you don't want to come out and try to song like Tambu. You don't want to try and look like David Rudder. You don't want to look like nobody because I like my own style. So he said, Look, we had a hat now, a black hat, that looking nice. And then, what, another six months after, somebody said, Look, we had a little trench coat. And that was it. That was the beginning. Yeah, and the it's just that. vibes. Yeah, just partners around saying, and Why are you important that? Because I'm willing to try anything because under craziness, because showbiz is showbiz. So I try anything. Hey, Ronnie? I have, a few <laughs> have a few quotes. Well, no. I tell you. I have <laughs> paint and all kind of thing, and I must give thanks. I like the scope of colors. Definitely. Big respect and thanks to all the people who supported me. The fans of Trinidad Tobago, the fans from all over Brooklyn and London and that kind of thing, all the Caribbean islands, and of course, people at home, my mom, and of course, Koti and Caro, and of course, the, the flying time squad, we call them. Oh, boy. Who, you know, in the mix at all times, really making sure that Ronnie cool and so now I just sit back and they just make sure the program running not the culture show program <laughs> my program the running program running program uh -huh. running smooth uh -huh. I say thanks to them for that and we give thanks and you know to the to the Lord Almighty for health and strength and Harold boy you keep up the thing you're doing and gentle Ben in the back there pushing all the knobs and thing and you know, I tell you I think think you keep up the great work too yeah, man. we yeah, need you in this okay definitely I guess I will work and work and make my contribution of course however far you know if I reach well, it reach, but I just making my contribution, you know. Well, you said on the, on the road last year. Well, physically now and literally, we going on the road on the streets of Porta. I can have time for color and mass and top and skimpy thing and you 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 Ooh. say it. Yeah, that, that does make me say. I just sing whole day on the road. Gentle, hey, yeah. action boy, run the track. Listen, cut your share all the while, man. All the keep viewing, never yeah. give up. Yes, man. Nothing else. <laughs> Hi, honey.